Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a this or that video. I'm going to be reviewing the original Jimmy Choo I Want You with the new Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever. And then I'm gonna go over Carolina Herrera's and some other comparisons that I have been sniffing side by side this past week. So let's go ahead and get into the video okay so the first one we're gonna go over is the original jimmy chew i want you and it's in this really pretty kind of peachy bottle now i don't own this one but i have tested it in store and then my beautiful boo takara did send me a five mil decan jimmy chew i want you was released in 2020 and the perfumers behind this fragrance i'm gonna list them because i can't pronounce the antoine's last name and I don't want to butcher it and I couldn't find the pronunciation but the other perfumers behind it was Sonia Constant and Louise Turner. So this fragrance is described as kind of fruity, citrus, white floral, sweet, powdery, and soft spicy. When this opens up I kind of get that peach and mandarin combo. The peach is a little bit more of that kind of fuzzy peach and then the mandarin kind of adds this zesty citrus but without it being like lemon so this opens up with kind of that bright fuzzy peach and then that mandarin orange and then as this settles it becomes kind of a bright white floral with like a musky woody base now they don't list any musk or woody notes or any spicy notes because they say this is soft spicy and i do get something kind of tickling my nose but they don't list it here so i do feel like there's some kind of wood like some kind of woody note in the base and i feel like there might be something that comes off kind of musky as well now i can't really speak on the performance the few times that i've tried it i did notice that it it lasted pretty long and it projected for about the first hour and it was a fragrance that when i was testing it you know, I had asked Dennis what he thought, and he said it was okay. I especially asked what he thought because to me, it did vibe like Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, which is a favorite of his. He didn't get the comparison. Like, I love when me and Dennis don't get the same thing because me and my viewers don't always get the same thing. That doesn't mean, like my girl Coco said, you're not wrong. <laughs> but I'm not wrong either. Perfume is very subjective, so I like when I get the two comparisons. I do get the Carolina Herrera good girl DNA. Almost like this is a peachy, less busy flanker. Next we have Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever. And this is a new release. This was released in 2022. This one has a kind of boozy, dark cherry opening. It could come off a little sour, but when I compared it to Very Good Girl Glam, which to me is more sour, I started to get more of a juicy dark cherry with a slight almond you know that's a very popular combo with cherries to put almond but this one isn't overly nutty to my nose i get that very sexy boozy cherry that i get from victor and ralph's dancing roses now the fragrances don't smell the same but as soon as i smelled the opening i thought of the boozy cherry in that fragrance and that fragrance was uh, created by Sonia Constance, which is also one of the noses on this fragrance. And then it starts to kind of smell and dry down to the original Jimmy Choo. And it's one that if you're not sniffing them side by side, you might say oh, this is a repeat. But when you sniff them side by side, this one's a little bit more sexy nighttime. I believe this one has a vetiver. Again, I do think there's a woody note in the original that they're not listing. But this one I get more vetiver. This doesn't really have a muskiness the way this one does. And this one is not super dark, but it's, it's more sexy. Whereas this one's more bright, the Jimmy Choo original. This one's more bright and day. You could wear this one tonight, especially if you overspray it. But this one to me, the I Want You Forever is a little bit more sexy with the cherry but you might like peach more because I do find this one to be a little more peach forward in the opening. This one's definitely cherry forward. But in the dry down, they both dry down to be very similar in the air, but if you're sniffing them side by side, this one's more cherry, more 
like sexy, deeper, the woody, the vetiver. It's just a more sexy scent. There's a warmth. I believe this one also has amber. There's more of a sweetness. This one has vanilla and, and tonka bean. Let me go over the notes. So Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever is a vanilla rose sweet cherry almond floral fragrance. This one has notes of rose, bitter almond, cherry, vetiver, jasmine, and then base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, oak moss, and amber. Now I don't really get the rose or the oak moss in this fragrance. For me, I, it opens up with that boozy kind of dark cherry and the slight nuttiness that you get from the almond. And then I do get the jasmine, kind of like I get the white florals in I Want You. And then this has the similar vanilla base, but I Want You leans a little bit more musky. And then the I Want You Forever leans a little bit more vetiver, and then you get the warmth from the amber. I Want You Forever is nutty and cherry, but then in the dry down, I still get a fruitiness that leans more on a cherry side, but it's not like that cherry note that I get in the opening. And then this one, I get a brightness from the peach and the mandarin orange. So while they smell very similar in the air, if you're putting nose to skin, you can really smell that this one's a little bit more darker and maybe more night. And then Jimmy Choo I Want You is a little bit more brighter and a little bit more day. Now I do think this one, I, you could wear both night and day, but I do think you can overspray I Want You and get this one to be like a nighttime fragrance. I do find forever to be a little bit more night. Now, I did notice just sampling this one, I did notice that that one lasted longer on my skin. But I couldn't tell you because I do overspray and get my clothes and I couldn't really overspray that one. I couldn't tell you if that one had like beast mode performance. I can say that I feel like that one's going to have moderate performance. And when I looked online, a lot of people did say it had good longevity and it performed moderately. So I think Jimmy Choo, I Want You has moderate performance. Now, the performance on this one is horrible. The performance on this one is like two hours. This is a scent that I wore on a walk with my mom because I always, me and my mom, we walk three to four times a week and I always try to wear fragrance and she always Again, a lot of people know that this is my hobby, so they are really great about letting me know if they smell something, if they like something, and my mom didn't smell this one on me. And then I wore this around my friend Day. She's another kind of like fragrance enthusiast, and when I gave her a hug, she couldn't smell me. And then I wore this to a recent brunch. I went to Bacon Bitch with my sister and her friend Christian. It was a little busy, and there was a lot of smells. It's a food place, but she didn't even say anything in her car. And my sister is one that she mentions a fragrance, especially when she like hugs me hello or we get in her car, she'll mention a fragrance. She didn't mention this one. And then when Christian got there and I hugged her, she didn't say anything. And she's one that's usually like, girl, you smell good. Or, ooh, what are you wearing? Like she's one that will, again, ask me what I have on, nothing. So this is one that did not perform very long on me, which is disappointing. I've already put a dent in this. Again, I've worn this on three occasions and all three, nada. So I'm not crazy about the way this performs, which is very disappointing because I actually love the way this one smells. Now I know you can go nose blind, but other people can't smell it. So that is my quick review of Jimmy Choo I Want You and I Want You Forever. Okay, so next are the comparisons. For me, I've always said from the first time I tested out Jimmy Choo I Want You, it reminds me of a less busy Carolina Herrera. And then I saw people comparing this one to not only Very Good Girl, the original, but also Very Good Girl Glam. And I'm sure that's because of the almond and cherry note. But for me, when I wore these side by side, I found this one to have a more rosy, tart, kind of sour cherry. Like I find Very Good Girl and Very Good Girl Glam to be almost standalones and they could have been their own fragrance. And to me, the two Jimmy Choo's could have been the actual flankers. Cause I don't find this one to smell like that one at all. 
Like even the cherry in here is a little more sour. Now that could be because of the lychee. But I find this, the cherry in here to be a little bit more sour. This one's a little bit more tart. This one's more rosy to my nose. It's got that famous Quentin Beach. His kind of famous tart tart rose that he puts in his fragrances. Now they, they all smell different, so I'm not even going to mention them because people always get upset. But I can tell that his nose was was in this fragrance like i could tell he did put his spin on this designer fragrance because to me it just has that famous rosy lychee vibe but if i if i say the name someone always comes in the comments upset those two to me they don't smell the same for me this smells more like the original the original carolina herrera you can definitely like one and not the other you could definitely despise good girl and then like this one because you're not they don't smell exactly the same but it's got that dna to me less busy and then it's got the kind of cherry the boozy cherry almond opening that i get from victor and Rolf's dancing roses which sonia constant is the perfumer behind that one so i think it's important especially when i'm doing a this or that and i'm doing comparisons i think it's important to mention the perfumers i smelled it even before i looked at the perfumers when i smelled i want you i'm like this smells like the original good girl and when i looked it up i saw that louise turner did both and then when i smelled this one i was like this smells like the cherry from dancing roses and when i looked up this one sonia constant i always like to see if i can pick that out first and my nose was able to detect it so that is my review on the new i want you and i want you forever let me know in the comments below did you guys pick up these fragrances what are your thoughts on them but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys